Hello students, this is Miss Dalton and this is video 5.1 solving 3x3 three three systems of equations. In this video I'm going to work through um, examples in increasing difficulty. So this first example is not that difficult. Um, we start with x plus y plus z equals 9, 2x plus y equals 5, 3x equals 3. So in this particular example, we have one equation that is written with one variable. So we're going to go ahead and use that equation to go ahead and solve for that variable. So we're going to divide both sides by 3 in this bottom equation. And that's going to allow us to solve for x. So x is equal to 1. Then I'm going to take that value of 1 and I'm going to plug it into this next equation, equation 2, in place of x. That will allow me to solve for y. So I'll have 2 times 1 plus y equals 5. So 2 times 1 is 2. 2 plus y equals 5. Therefore, y is equal to 3 when I subtract 2 from both sides. So now we're going to take this y value of 3 and we're going to put it in this top equation, but we're also going to take the x value of 1 and put it into the top equation as well. So then we're going to have 1 plus y, which is 3, plus z equals 9. 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus z equals 9, so therefore z has to equal 5. And so once you get your solutions, you can go ahead and write it as an ordered triple. We write it in alphabetical order, so x would come first, 1, then your y, 3, and then your z, 5. And of course, we could plug those back into all of those equations to make sure that they work to check our answer. All right, here we have example two, which is a little more involved. We have x minus y minus z equals negative seven. Then we have two x plus y equals zero, and x minus three y equals negative 14. This is a little more involved because we don't have an equation that just has one variable. However, we do have equation two, so I'm gonna put a two right here, and we have equation three right here that are in two variables. So let's rewrite those. So I'm gonna put equation two, 2x plus y equals 0, and then equation 3 is taking x minus 3y equals negative 14. So in order to solve this, we would need to use elimination to eliminate one of our variables. If I take the third equation and multiply it by a negative 2. What's going to happen when I multiply this by a negative 2 is I will now have, so there's my arrow, I will now have negative 2x, negative 2 times negative 3y is a positive 6y, and it's equal to negative 2 times a negative 14, is a positive 28. I'll still have the equation 2 above it, so I'll have 2x plus y equals 0. Now, why would I want to do that? Well, if I add those up now, this cancels, and so I'll have 7y equals 0 plus 28 is 28. That allows me to solve for my variable y by dividing both sides by 7, so y is equal to 4. Okay, so then I'm going to take this y of e that's equal to 4, and I can plug it into either equation. I can plug it into the second equation, or I could plug it into the third equation, whichever one you want to do, because then it'll allow me to solve for x. Now, I'm going to do it in equation 2 because I have smaller numbers. So 2x plus that 4 that we just solved for y equals 0. 
So that gives you 2x equals negative 4 and x equals negative 2. So now I'm going to take my x equals negative 2 and my y equals 4 and now I'm going to plug it into the equation number 1 which is right here so that I can solve for z. So equation 1 says x, so I'm going to put a negative 2 in place of x. This is equation number 1. Negative 2, then minus my y, which is 4, and then minus z equals negative 7. Negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. Minus z equals negative 7. Add 6 to both sides. So you'll have negative z equals negative 1, and then divide by a negative 1, so z is equal to 1. So there are my three variables. Again, you can write your solution. Let's do pink. Um, my solution as an ordered triple would be the x value first, negative 2, then the y value, 4, and then the z value, 1. Again, I could plug it back into my original equations to make sure that it works, uh, to make sure that I have the correct answer. All right, let's do a super hard problem. All right, so here we've got x plus y plus z equals 4, 2x plus 3y minus z equals 24, and 3x minus y plus z equals negative 10. So at this point, I need to get two, I, I'm going to have to get two sets of equations down to only two variables. Now, if I'm looking at this, I'm looking at equation one, and I'm looking at equation two, and then we'll call this equation three. Well, if I take equation one and equation two, and let's write those out. So x plus y plus z equals four. My second equation is 2x plus 3y minus z equals 24. Now, hopefully you notice that the z and the negative z in the bottom equation, if I add those up, now those z's are going to cancel. Okay, so I'm going to end up with 3x plus 4y equals 28. Okay, you have to get two sets of equations down to only two variables. So I've done 1 and 2. I can't use 1 and 2 again, but I could use 2 and 3 now. So let's go to 2 and 3. If I take 2 and 3 then I'm going to have this. So let's go ahead and just do that right here. I can add those up because my z's cancel. Again, whatever canceled in this set, you want to make sure you cancel in the next set as well. So add those up. That gives you 5x plus 2y equals 14. Okay, so now I'm going to take this equation here, the 5x plus 2y equals 14, and I'm going to put it with the 3x plus 4y equals 28. So let's do that. So then I'm going to have 5x plus 2y. Actually, let me go ahead and erase this now. So I'm going to erase this line. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and move it over here. Okay? So then you'll have 3x plus 4y equals 28. Your objective here is to try and get one of those variables to cancel. Well, I notice that if I multiply this top equation by a negative 2, then negative 2 times 2 is going to give me a negative 4y, and then I'll get those to cancel. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that but I'm going to write it underneath here. So I'm going to do negative 2 times 5x, which is a negative 10x. Negative 2 times 2y is a negative 4y. And then negative 2 times 14 
is equal to negative 28. Now I'm going to take those equations and I'm going to add them up. So what happens is the y's cancel. You have negative 7x equals 0. So if I divide both sides by the negative 7, 0 divided by anything is going to give you 0. Okay, so now what I have is I have a value for x. x equals 0. Well, if you'll notice, back in this equation here and this equation here, I have an x and a y. So I can choose whichever one to plug it into. Let's go ahead and plug it into this one. So I'm going to erase that and I'm going to plug my x value of 0 here. So 3 times 0 plus 4y equals 28. So that would be 0 plus 4y equals 28, which would be 4y equals 28, which would be y equals 7. So now I'll take my x and my y value and I can plug it into either of the original equations. So I could plug it into this one, this one, or this one. It does not matter. Now I notice that the first equation has a little bit smaller number, so I'm going to take it into the first equation. My x value of zero is 0, so 0, plus my y value of 7, plus z has to equal 4. Well, 0 plus 7 is 7, so 7 plus z equals 4. Subtract 7 from both sides would give you a z value of negative 3. So there are my three um, solutions. So let's do just white. So my final answers would be my x value first of 0, my y value of 7, and my z value of negative 3. I would, in fact, try and plug these in. This is the hardest kind of example that you're going to get. Um, but again, you want to take two equations, get them down to two variables, two different sets of equations down to two variables. Then use elimination on those equations, and then just go from there. All right, uh, hope you got some good notes. Um, try and write down any questions that you have so that I can go over them in class.